There you are, and you've arrived just in time. Without further ado, allow me to present my new Argon Heart. The biggest you ever saw. I mean, you've seen a real Argon Heart for yourselves. You can tell this is no fake. I suppose you're wondering where I acquired it. Well, as luck would have it, one of the peddlers was selling one. The service is our motto. <laughs> we got another if you got the money. Another? One is quite enough. Anyway, you can keep the Argon Heart from the Royal Hunting Round for yourselves. I'm going to take this one back to the castle. Uh, you'll stay quiet about this, of course. And once the bazaar moves on, I won't need to worry about that peddler telling anyone. It's a flawless plan. <laughs> well, this is farewell. I'm off to the castle. Drop by sometime if you'd like to see the adoration on my subjects' faces firsthand. Ta-ta! What have you done? Prince Charmels, please show us the Argon Heart you obtained. Why, it's enormous! I've never seen such a big Argon Heart before. It must be the biggest in the history of the initiation. He must have slain quite an Argon Lizard to get a heart of that size. Prince Charmels, present the Argon Heart, symbol of your bravery and worthiness to King Clavius. No. Wait. Charmels, do you swear before the Almighty Goddess that you obtained this Argon Heart from an Argon Lizard slain by your own hand? Uh, of course, Father. Because even if, for example, you were assisted by others in battle, I would still recognize your claim to the throne. But if you obtained it by any other means, I could not recognize your right to the throne. Is that perfectly clear? Yes, of course. I fought the lizard with my own hands, and a frightful beast it was, too. Very well. Then I congratulate you. I accept this Argon Heart as proof of your true character. I saw my son take an Argon Heart from one of the merchants. Did you even take him to the Royal Hunting Ground? I saw everything from up here. You must tell me the truth. Out with it! I see. 
So this is the Argon Heart he obtained with your help. Why didn't he simply show it to me? I would not have cared about the size. I fear this means Charmels is far too immature to take the throne or a wife. However, that is a matter between Charmels and myself. You did a fine job in taking him to the royal hunting ground. The magic mirror is in the royal vault on the fourth floor. You are free to take it whenever you wish. I have already instructed the guards to admit you. And I will take this Argon Heart. It might prove useful when I need to remind Charmels of his fool hardiness. Brought the magic mirror, if I'm not mistaken. May I have a look? Hmm, that's odd. I don't sense any magic at all. Bereft of its magic power, it's no different from a normal, everyday mirror. Could someone have snuck in and tampered with the mirror while it slumbered in the royal vault? No, surely not. Nevertheless, even without its magic, the mirror remains a priceless royal treasure. What's that? The magical power of the mirror is central to your errand, you say? I see, I see. Let me think. The mirror itself does not appear to be damaged. In which case, you should be able to recharge the mirror, so to speak, by exposing it to the right kind of magic. That would restore its former power. The man who taught me was a wizard and an expert in magical treasures. I'm sure he would know how to re-energize the mirror. Unfortunately, he is retired. Now he spends his days in seclusion in his home deep in the western forest. If it isn't the people I met at the spring. Well, well. Ah, ah, ah. Well. Ah. 
Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, can I help you with something? What? But the magic mirror is a royal heirloom. And you say King Clavius gave it to you? Oh, well, well. <laughs> Let me examine it then. Yes, this is it. The sun mirror. Ah, ah, quite unmistakable feel it has. I'll never forget the first time I touched it in Argonia. But, oh, yes, it's curious. It's, um, it's lost all of its magic. Oh, dear, I'm not being very clear, am I? You see, this mirror that you call the magic mirror is really called the sun mirror. But now that all its magic has been lost, you can't very well call it a magic mirror anymore. There was a bloke in a castle who said the same thing. That's why we're here to see you. Thought you could give us some assistation. Uh, a way to get magic back into the mirror. <laughs> I remember hearing long ago about a spell of blinding light that was cast on the sun mirror. That's what gave it such tremendous brilliance. If the mirror has lost that magic now, um, perhaps casting the same spell could restore its magical properties. The problem is, I can't remember what the spell was. A smell that casts a blinding light. Uh, what a conundrum. Um, ah, of course, the sea dragon spell. Just north of this land, you will find a stone arch bridging the straits. A sailor once told me of a giant sea dragon in the waters there. He said it cast a spell on him that left him blinded for a few moments. I suppose it's possible a, a bright light such as that could restore the magic to the mirror. You never know, it might just work. Try using the mirror to reflect the sea dragon's spell. Aha! Good luck.